I have to draft my team's entire offense before I can even think about drafting a goaltender, let alone a defenseman. I know I did this draft last year and I do not remember how it went. But, hopefully, this year, it goes well. And it is at this point that we find out which team we will be drafting on behalf of. It is the Washington Crapitals. Okay, I see you. I feel like we could be able to get like 82, 81, maybe an 83 overall defenseman. Goaltenders is what I'm concerned for. No owner mode, yes fantasy draft, yes salary cap, no jabroni, ever. Okay, there are a few exceptions to the rule, like when I'm doing career sims, but for fantasy drafts, well, I guess I could do a fantasy draft with injuries on and maybe, no! Stop trying to convince me. And now the question becomes, which draft pick will we get? And what would be good for this draft? Obviously, we want a superstar. Multiple, actually, on offense because we need it. I would think, like, probably somewhere, like, uh, McDavid would be good. But then our next pick's so far away. Maybe, like, the 8 to 15 range would be nice. So I'll say we get, say we get pick number 9. Yeah, that's a rogue shout. And we get, I was so close. Here we go. Start draft. What player will be the first to join this Washington offense? Really? That's crazy. I guess it's probably the medium franchise potential, but still. So we can't take Yossi, obviously. Can't take Hedman, but we can go for Sydney the Kidney. We could take Cooch, Panarin, Kirill the Thrill. Kucherov, if I've ever even taken him, is an extremely rare selection. So he's the best overall forward on the board. I'd have to do it. There you go. That's a good start. Now, Kucherov is a playmaker, so I can pair him with Ovi, who's a sniper. Bring him back to Washington. Or do I go for Bradley? Because I know that he puts up bear points as well. No, I'm going Ovi. And I'm also putting Malkin on that first line. So that is going to be ridiculous. Let's go with Kevin Fiala. And I'm hoping that Toffoli's still there because I want him to be the second line right winger, but he might not be. Moment of truth. Is Toffoli? He is still there. I see him. Okay, I was about to go to forwards, but I don't need to. 4.5 million for Rory. He has no abilities though. That would have been so nice. So I'm debating between either Giroux and Kadri. The 500k sort of means something to me, so I'm gonna go with Claude. I feel like we are just eating cap right now. But I gotta try and get as many talented players as I can because we're not gonna have a caboose. That's for sure. I will 1000% be taking Blake Wheeler. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I'll just draft him now. Second would be nice, but I cannot justify the near 10 million. Same with Bennett. I might have to go with Domi. 84 making three. That's really good. Bennett doesn't have abilities. Neither does Domi, but yeah, okay. Let's go with Max. These drafts are the best. I get to just fly through them. Mikheyev is one of the only players I've seen with an ability, which I, again, I don't know if it affects simulation or not, but I'm going to convince myself that it does. I actually saw a video recently with Niederreiter in it. It was kind of like an interview and it made me like him a lot. He just seems like a really genuine, cool guy, so... I'm rooting for you, Nino. Kubalik has a four-star shooting category, only three and a half for defense. Yeah, I feel like I should get some more defensive forwards here. Actually, I got a crazy one for you. I could just sort by the defensive category. There we go. Four stars is the best. That's lame. I kind of thought he was going to have good face-offs, and he does. So Scott Lawton will be our final centerman at three million. And then we just need one more forward, and we can finally... I just saw Varlamov go at 84. We might actually be able to get a decent goalie. Oh, it's going to be 83. He's the best overall player on the board. I am leaving no cap space for our defense and goalies, but whatever. So definitely going for a netminder now. And I feel like it is going to be Cassie. Casey to Smith, 1.8, which is extremely reasonable. Yes. Luke Shen's still here. We got a bunch of 83 overall defensemen. All right, fire me up. I'm actually down. The only problem is our cap space, so I'm gonna go with Geo. Yeah, that's a good pickup, right? Jan Ruda. Another defensive defenseman. Well, I mean, another right side defensive defenseman because Luke Shen fills that role as well. But, I mean, at 2.7, I think I have to do it. And a right-handed offensive defenseman making 1 million. Kevin Shattenkirk. Fire me up. $9 million of cap space. So we do have a little bit of wiggle room. Not a lot, 
but it exists. Are you left-handed? You are. Defensive defenseman again, though. I mean, I guess... Could play with Shattenkirk. Okay, we're going with OEL then. Easy. I don't know. I don't know why I'm taking him, first of all. Oh, he's a defensive defenseman. What's Tim? Okay, we're going with Tim then. And last but not least, our backup netminder will be... Hmm. I'm going with Charlie Lindgren because he gloves right. And I feel like that could throw people off. It's a simulation, it doesn't matter, but I'm still sticking to it. I am extremely excited to edit the lines and see what this team looks like. We are front heavy to the max. We got some goal scorers, power forwards. Yeah, like penalty killer, stuff like that. We should be okay. Defensively, we ended up with some decent players, to be honest. Having DeSmith as the starting goalie is not ideal, but we aren't gonna win games by playing defense. We are gonna win games by scoring. I was gonna record one more video today, but I don't know if I got it in me, to be honest. My voice right now is very upset. Here we go. Kucherov, Ovi, and Malkin as the first line. It's gotta be plus five. Yeah, 100%. And our second line. Whoa! Our second line is also a plus five. And then we got a plus one and a zero, which is fine with me. Actually, I'm moving Kane up. Yeah, 100%. Sweetness by Jimmy Eat World is playing right now, and I literally thought I was playing NHL 03 for a second. The ice time allocation is roll three lines, so this fourth line might not get a ton of time, but... C'est la vie. Defense! Okay! Whoa! I was not ready for that. 2-2-1. Two, two, I'm not even- I'm just leaving it. I am 100% leaving it the way it is, and our goaltenders, DeSmith. I'm gonna say, you know what, I think we do well. I don't know why. But I feel like this team is going to be an offensive powerhouse good enough to get us 49 wins. And Kucherov has the most points with 108? Oh, a 3-1 loss to the Penguins. How is this team going to get one goal? And we we're playing Casey to Smith's anyway. I mean, he's not there now, I guess, but it's still his former team. An 8-4 loss. How are we going to get... Thank you. Finally, we put up a decent number in the goals category. When we lose those games 6-1, it's like, what happened? Where was our offense? We are currently second in the division, but yeah, it's a race. Actually, you know what? We have a decent gap on third place, but that could be closed in an instant. I'm not going to update our trading block. There's no point. Just keep it as it is, but we will go in to see who's available. We got Hampus Lindholm, 88 overall. The Conn Smythe winner, Jonathan Marcheseau. Sam Reinhardt. Definitely some quality players here. Kuzmenko, that's surprising. There was not even a single blockbuster trade to report, which means Lindholm most likely went nowhere. 49 wins isn't out of the question. I mean, we got to go on a bit of a... Actually, no, we got to settle off a bit here. I mean, that's not even a thing. I just... Anyway. Um, see you later, Santiago. Santiago Eichel. A win against the Sabres. We're at 50. Wow. 51 wins for this team. We were first in the division by a landslide. I mean, okay, yeah, 13 points, but that's still quite a bit. We did not, however, win the President's Trophy. That would go to the Ottawa Senators, so I'll make sure to look at their lineup before we look at our opponent, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Buffalo finished in last by 12 points. That is a yikes. Suzuki, Tuck, and Kirill the Thrill. Aiden Hill and Nett. Philip Ronick. I mean, yeah, that second line, they got a young team. We had a total of four point a game players on our squadron. Kucherov led the charge with 100 flat. Ovi had 94 and 47 goals. Malkin 91. Giroux exactly point per game. Toffoli 72, great number. You know what? Our goalies actually had pretty solid stats. I am impressed. Gus would be the league leader with 45 wins and 917. Huso also had a 917. Holy Gibson with a 922 and 71 games. McCarr was the best defenseman by a landslide. He had 96 points and then it drops off to a nice amount for Morrissey. Hedman 65. That is a gap and a half. Yes, we had the Art Ross winner. We might actually have... Oh no! That's unfortunate. Pasta might get it. There might be someone with 48. Let's see. I feel like it is 47 though. Yeah, three players. Crosby with 47. Felino had the most fights by more than double. What an absolute mad lad. He probably had the most penalty minutes as well, I would think. Yeah, he has to. 
Attaboy. I did want to check something. I wanted to see goals for per game. Were we up there? So we were first in the league in goals for per game, which I expect. Goals against per game. Where are we? We got to be up here somewhere, no? Oh, we actually did okay. What about penalty kill? Detroit had a very effective PK. We scrolled down here. Where's Washington? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, did I fly past us somewhere and just completely ignore? Or are we actually this far down? Okay. So I definitely was not paying enough attention. So we're like middle of the pack. And we had the best power play in the whole league. By 3.9%. First things first, the President's Trophy winning Ottawa Senators. I do not understand. Philip Forsberg with Maddie Beniers and Sean Couturier. Then they had, oh, they have Nino. There you go. That makes a lot of sense. Everything has just come full circle. They went all in on defense. They have Hedman, Burns, and Maury. Fowler on the last pair. Gotta have a good goalie too, right? Oh, they had Gus, right. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Now, our first round opponent is the Tampa Bay Lightning. They have Ehlers, Matthews, and Kuznetsov. It's a good first line. Tim Winston playing with Granlund and Hyman. Yeah, they have a good team. I'm actually a little bit worried here. Defensively, oh my goodness. Very, very solid. Oh, and they have Ottinger. Come on. You know the drill. First four games... Will it be a sweep in either direction? Hopefully not. Oh my. What just happened? Did we just get Jakey owed? The St. Louis Blues go on to win the Stanley Cup. So, Ovi was point a game in the loss. Only one goal though. Kucherov had two goals, three points. Malkin, Giroux, OEL all had two. What about our goalies? Did they get lit up? Is that part of the problem? Oh yeah, big time. The cup winning St. Louis Blues had Katahat in net. I wonder if he was nervous. They also had the Conn Smythe. He actually might get it again in this. Buchnevich as well. 27 points though. Gave him a run for his money, but I feel like it would go to Jonathan. Kempe had 19. Hayes. They brought back Kevin. Had Fox on defense. Jared Spurgeon. Noah Hannafin. Devin Taves. Holy, they have a great defensive core. Yeah, that 929 is outrageous. Ottinger, 928. So we did get Jake Yod. Insane simulation for Rossmus. 26 points. And then he was 9 up on both Wierenski and Fox. Gabriel Landeskog had 30 points. Sebastian Ajo had 28. But I think the Conn Smythe will go to Margeso. Wow, yeah, Detroit had a lot of points. They had Landy, Seb, and then they also had Darlene, who had the 26, Hoaglander. All right, team awards. I'm not going to read these this time except for that one because we did get the Art Ross. Nylander with the heart. And yeah, let's just go through here, see if we can win any more trophies. But I severely doubt we're taking anything else. Yeah, no more hardware, just the art. Your playoff tree? Wasn't a sweep in the finals. In fact, it went to seven. So a great Stanley Cup final. Love to see it. And we were decimated by the Tampa Bay Lightning in round one. But we were close to winning the President's Trophy. We got the Art Ross winner on our team. So there's, you know, some successes in there. Well, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be pure heat. I'll see you soon.